Hello, welcome to Invictus Motors. This video is not just to kind of show you underneath this 911, but a bit of a backstory to this 911. We sold this vehicle to a customer circa one week ago. And he contacted me, as a matter of fact, Thursday, you know, two, two or three days from today and said, uh, I, I'm really disappointed. Like, I, th I think that's how the call started, saying, I'm really disappointed. Uh, you sold me a dodgy car and I feel that I've been shafted. That is basically the gist of a 20 minute call with him. And you can imagine me being quite an enthusiast and I love my Porsches and I think our oh, prep work is absolutely spot on. In no way, form or shape do we ever actually compromise on our prep work because anything of this generation gets board checked, has an over rev report done. And if the engine is no good, we'll, engine, we'll rebuild the engine or we won't actually retail it. But to be hearing those kind of comments, I was just getting so frustrated where I was like not even wanting him as a customer anymore. This 911 issue that he said he had was the coolant was pouring out. He's like, I was at a friend's house, was driving away from this friend's place. Uh, he noticed that there's coolant pouring out the car. As a matter of fact, the coolant on the day when he came to uh, drive it away was low, was top top but it wasn't anything major in that sense that you know when we inspected it it wasn't as if there was a major coolant leak in, it, in any way form or shape a colleague of mine did a video before we carried out the repair on this to put in a, a new clip to because the old clip had corroded and it was weeping a little bit especially at high speed just having a drip of a coolant dropping so i'll go through the car now so firstly just in terms of general condition this from if, if you're watching this as if you're watching a 997.1 video 911 it's got new clamps new nuts and bolts and just kind of going underneath it even the exhaust uh, gasket seals right there yes the nuts and bolts are a bit corroded but they're still intact the tandem pump showing a bit of corrosion but all the piping is intact you know looking at the uh, the suspension struts the PSM strut that's all good it's not leaking the control arms, the wishbones, everything is exactly where you would expect it to be. The tires, you can see in the video, it's got plenty of tread. The rear discs and pads have more than enough life remaining. I could see at, at the minute probably about 30 to 40 percent of life remaining. Yeah, at some point the rear discs and pads could do with replacing just because the pads are at about, I'd say, 30, 35 percent life remaining. But the rear don't get used as much as the front and I'll show you the condition of the front disc and pads. So I'll just continue bringing you to the back of the car. These are the coolant pipes which have been replaced. You can still see the stickers when they were replaced. So brand new pipes. All of our 997, one more time, they go through a bore scope inspection. If need be, a compression leak down test and we always do an over rev report. And we don't sell any of these cars compromised in any way, form or shape. This is the coolant pipe where you've got this connection of the rubber and the aluminium pipe connecting it with each other. That was corroded, but you know, it was a slight weep, you know, again, nothing majorly. It's come in here, it's probably taken us 20 minutes to put a new housing clip on it and it's done, it's addressed. But one more time, just to kind of recap, whether you deal with us as a dealer or you deal with, you know, somebody else as a dealer. I think if you want the best solution to whatever problem you're having, I think show respect, be kind, be respectful. These qualities, they don't cost much. And if you're actually having a problem with a dealer that the dealer don't want to address, I think still it doesn't hurt. Show a bit of patience, show a bit of persistence, be resilient, contact them, speak to them, talk them through your problem and 99.9% .9 of the dealers will see through that, especially if it's a dealer that's doing luxury prestige cars. At the end of the day, we at the same time have every right to want to make sure that our customers that we're dealing with are proper, upright, honest customers, not dodgy like the customer that I was dealing with in relation to this 911. So in, in, in all totality, I wanted to give you a bit of a brief chat here with you guys to say dealers are not dodgy. You do find customers being dodgy at the same time. And more often than not, if the industry as a whole where customers are like 
getting down to this level of you know speaking to you in this term and that behavior continues in some ways potentially it's reducing the quality of dealers out there because if we're if you're an honest dealer like us that is patient that is wanting to sell the best product put the best prep work in it's if we continue having customers like this customer that we've had here maybe i wouldn't want to continue running a Porsche specialist dealership you know i'll pack up and get myself a nice corporate job but i'm doing this because i love what i'm doing and there's enough good customers out there that are proper upright and honest and ideally that's the customers we want to be selling to that's the customers we want to be doing business with but once again thank you thank you so much for actually watching this video i know this is just a little bit out of the blue but i i had to do this because if you're looking to buy a 997.1 from us or a 997.2 from us or any 911 you can expect a very honest relationship a good warranty and should you ever have an issue you know you can bring it back to our workshop and we'll help you address it but thanks don't forget to subscribe comment like and let me know what you think what you thought of whether you're a customer or a dealer what you actually thought of what i said out here thank you bye bye